Hey there fellow curious minds. Welcome to Bright Brainiacs where we dive into the depths of knowledge and explore the wonders of the universe. That's right. Get ready to ignite your intellect as we embark on a mind-blowing journey into the realms of science, technology, and all things fascinating. Today, we have a stellar treat for you. We're taking a closer look at one of the most captivating subjects in the cosmos. Dwarf planets. From the icy plains of Pluto to the enigmatic mysteries of Eris and beyond, will be your guides through this cosmic adventure. So, whether you're an aspiring astrophysicist, a space enthusiast, or simply hungry for knowledge, this is the video for you. Get ready to have your mind expanded as we unravel the secrets of these celestial wonders. We'll delve into their origins, explore their unique features, and discover why they hold the key to understanding our vast universe. But that's not all. We'll also share the latest scientific discoveries, mind-bending theories, and mind-blowing facts about these captivating dwarf planets. And of course, we'll sprinkle in our signature Bright Brainiac's touch, combining informative content with captivating visuals, interactive demonstrations, and even a few surprises along the way. So, fasten your seatbelts and prepare for an epic cosmic journey with Bright Brainiacs. Join us as we unlock the mysteries of dwarf planets and venture into the unknown. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell, so you never miss out on our exciting adventures into the realms of knowledge. Get ready to expand your mind, feed your curiosity, and join our community of Bright Brainiacs. Are you ready? Let's dive into the fascinating world of dwarf planets. Remember, the universe is our playground, and knowledge is the key. Stay curious fellow Brainiacs. But first things first. What is a dwarf planet? A dwarf planet is a type of celestial body that orbits the sun, similar to a planet, but with distinct characteristics that set it apart. According to the International Astronomical Union IAU definition, a dwarf planet is a celestial object that orbits the sun, is spherical in shape, but has not cleared its orbit of other debris. In other words, a dwarf planet shares similarities with a planet, such as orbiting the sun and having a spherical shape due to its own gravity. However, unlike a planet, a dwarf planet has not fully cleared its orbital path of other objects, such as asteroids or other debris. These other objects may still exist in the same region of space, making the dwarf planet one of many objects in that area. Some well-known examples of dwarf planets include Pluto, which was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, as well as Eris, Hormia, Makemake, and Ceres. These dwarf planets, while smaller than the major planets like Earth or Jupiter, have unique characteristics and provide valuable insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. Why are they called that? Dwarf planets are called dwarf because they share similarities with planets but do not meet all the criteria to be classified as full-fledged planets. The term dwarf is used to differentiate them from the traditional planets in our solar system. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union IAU, established a new definition for what qualifies as a planet. According to this definition, a celestial body must fulfill three criteria to be considered a planet, it must orbit the sun, it must be spherical in shape due to its own gravity, and it must have cleared its orbit of other debris. Dwarf planets, on the other hand, meet the first two criteria of orbiting the sun and having a spherical shape. However, they have not fully cleared their orbits of other objects, such as asteroids or smaller bodies. These other objects still coexist with dwarf planets in their orbital neighborhood. So, to distinguish these smaller celestial bodies from the traditional planets, the term dwarf planet was coined. It reflects their similarities to planets in terms of orbit and shape, while acknowledging their unique characteristic of not having cleared their orbits completely. The use of the term dwarf is not meant to diminish their significance or importance. Dwarf planets are fascinating objects in their own right and contribute to our understanding of the solar system's formation and dynamics. How common are dwarf planets? Dwarf planets are relatively common in our solar system, although they are less numerous than the traditional planets. As of the current knowledge and understanding, there are five officially recognized dwarf planets within our solar system, Pluto, Eris, Hormia, Makemake, and Ceres. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and was the first dwarf planet to be discovered. It was reclassified from an asteroid to a dwarf planet in 2006. Pluto, which was once considered the ninth planet, is the most famous dwarf planet. It resides in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune that is home to many icy objects. Eris, also located in the Kuiper Belt, is similar in size to Pluto and played a significant role in the reclassification of Pluto as a dwarf planet. 
its discovery prompted a re-evaluation of the definition of a planet by the International Astronomical Union. Hormia, named after a Hawaiian goddess, is an elongated and rapidly rotating object in the Kuiper belt. It has a unique shape compared to other dwarf planets. Makemake, also located in the Kuiper belt, is known for its reddish coloration and its similarities to Pluto and Eris. Apart from these officially recognized dwarf planets, there are many other potential dwarf planet candidates and objects in the outer regions of our solar system that are still being studied and assessed by scientists. Additionally, beyond our solar system, there may be countless other dwarf planets in distant star systems. However, due to the limitations of current technology and our observational capabilities, our knowledge of dwarf planets outside our solar system is limited. As our understanding of the universe continues to expand and new discoveries are made, it is likely that we will uncover more dwarf planets and gain further insights into their prevalence and characteristics. The biggest and perhaps the most famous dwarf planet in our solar system is Pluto. Pluto is an intriguing dwarf planet that has captured the fascination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Once considered the ninth planet, it was later reclassified as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union IAU in 2006. This reclassification was based on new understanding and criteria for classifying celestial bodies. In terms of size, Pluto is relatively small compared to major planets like Earth or Jupiter. It has a diameter of approximately 2,376 kilometers, 1,476 miles, making it smaller than our moon. Its composition consists of a mix of rocky material and various icy substances, including frozen nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. These ices give Pluto its distinct reddish-brown color. Pluto's orbit is unique as it resides in the Kuiper Belt, a region in the outer reaches of our solar system beyond Neptune. This region is home to numerous other icy objects, and Pluto's orbit is tilted and elliptical, unlike the more circular orbits of the inner planets. This orbital path contributes to its distinct characteristics and its classification as a dwarf planet. Pluto has five known moons, with the largest and closest one being Charon. Charon is about half the size of Pluto itself, and the two are tightly locked, meaning they always face each other with the same sides. The other four moons are smaller and named Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. The presence of these moons adds complexity and intrigue to Pluto's system. When NASA's New Horizons spacecraft conducted a historic flyby of Pluto in 2015, it provided us with our first close-up images and valuable scientific data. These images revealed a diverse and dynamic world. We discovered mountains, canyons, plains, and a heart-shaped feature known as Tombaugh Regio on its surface. The presence of nitrogen ice glacier and evidence of geological activity expanded our understanding of Pluto's geological processes. Pluto also has a thin atmosphere composed primarily of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. However, due to its distance from the Sun, the atmosphere can freeze and collapse when Pluto moves farther away. When it gets closer to the Sun during its elliptical orbit, the frozen atmosphere can temporarily create an atmosphere. Studying Pluto and other dwarf planets is crucial for understanding the formation and evolution of our solar system. By exploring these celestial objects, scientists gain insights into the processes that shaped our cosmic neighborhood. Additionally, the exploration of Pluto challenges our preconceived notions and expands our understanding of the diversity and complexity of celestial bodies. While Pluto may no longer hold the status of a planet, it continues to captivate our curiosity and remains an important object of study. As technology advances and new missions are planned, we can expect to uncover more secrets and revelations about this intriguing dwarf planet in the future. And that concludes our today's Cosmic Exploration Fellow Knowledge Seekers. We hope you enjoyed this mind-expanding journey into the depths of the universe with Bright Brainiacs. Remember, the thirst for knowledge is never quenched, and there's always more to discover. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep expanding your horizons. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue feeding your curious mind, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community of Bright Brainiacs. Stay tuned for more captivating content, where we unravel the mysteries of science, technology, and everything that makes our world so awe-inspiring. And don't forget to click that notification bell, so you never miss out on our future adventures into the realms of knowledge. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic quest. Remember, the universe is waiting to be explored, and you have the power to uncover its secrets. Keep shining bright fellow brainiacs, and until next time, keep that curiosity burning. Stay curious, and stay inspired.